Hey, thanks for joining us today on Fishing and Hunting Texas. You know, we got a real treat for you today. We're in downtown Austin, Lady Bird Lake. Back in the day, we used to call it Town Lake, a lake that's on the Colorado River, was built for flood control, and is kind of the center of Austin outdoor activity. There's a hike and bike trail that goes around this lake. Tons of people come down here, get on paddle boards, get in kayaks. I mean, there's a lot of activity down here, but one thing I've always heard about this, it's great fishing. I've actually not fished here a whole lot. I've probably only been here one time in my life. Let's see what happens. Water is so clear. First bass of the day, I caught that on the Strike King Hack Attack Heavy Cover Jig. And what I'm doing is, is you know, we've just got on some kind of steep banks right off the back. Look how healthy and pretty that fish is. And I'm just flipping cypress trees. And shoot, that fish was. You know, as you kind of look at this stretch right here, the water's actually pretty deep. We're sitting in 9.3 feet and basically pitching underneath cypress trees, underneath oak trees, underneath trees that kind of are overhanging. I mean, there's a lots of cover and lots of different options. You can pitch it way up on the bank, like getting way up under it, or you can pitch it in these outside limbs. A lot of it's gonna be, we just gotta kind of figure out where the fish wanna be. You know, when I first decided to fish Lady Bird Lake, it's a lake I've always wanted to fish because it looks a lot like Lake Austin, you know, just in the appearance of it. I knew there was a little bit of grass in it and I've heard there's a great fish population. I don't really know exactly why I've never fished it before. It's probably just the logistics, not knowing where a good boat ramp was, the busyness of that area. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine putting a boat in there. It wasn't really that bad. We got down there early, there wasn't any traffic yet got our boat in the water and you know it was still dark when we put our boat in and then we just trolling motored all the way up the lake. You can't run a, a gasoline powered engine on that body of water so you can only I can only use my electric motor but you know my Cabela's X900 AGM batteries I knew I had the strength in trolling motor to get way up the lake and so we just put in and we can't wait to get up there kind of the anticipation you know there's fish kind of starting to bust and you know, we really felt like we were gonna have a great day. The fish got all these black spots on him. Oh, get up in here, that's a good one. And talk about those black spots. Look at this tail right there. See how all those black spots just kind of, I mean, those are kind of birthmarks. I, I mean, you see it on fish a lot in some lakes. A lot of times early in the year, you really notice it a lot, but I love when I see that. Boy, that's a good fish right there. Great fish. <laughs> 